In this video, I will be using group policy to deploy PDF24. I will be using two different deployment options. One is where we create a policy for our domain computers, and then the domain computers install the software during startup. Another one is where we create a group policy for our domain users, and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they like. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and here you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup if you're interested in that. And also here are videos about extra group policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading PDF24 installation files and for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the download page for PDF24. Here I will click on download, it will scroll down for me. I will be using the latest version. Here from EXE I will be switching to MSI and click on the download button. And now I will go to my downloads folder and wait for the executable. And now that I have my MSI file I will right click on it, select copy and then I will go to VMware workstation where I have my Windows server setup. I will minimize the server manager for now and I will move the MSI file to my desktop. And after moving it to our desktop, we want to move it to a network share that is accessible to our domain users and computers. So for that, I will open File Explorer and here I will type SRV02 because this is my file server. Here I have the software share. I will go inside of it. And here I will be creating a folder named PDF24. And I will move the MSI file into this folder. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions. For example, in my case, if I go to properties and security tab, then edit, you can see that for the NTFS permissions, I have authenticated users with read permissions. And I have, I have the same permissions for my share permissions. And authenticated users covers both users and the computers. And that means that both users and computers can access and execute files from this share so make sure that you have the correct permissions now let's close everything and go back to the server manager because now we can start creating our group policy and in the server manager i will go to tools and group policy management then i will right click on group policy objects and select new and the first policy that i will be creating will be for our domain computers it's where the software is installed during the startup process. And I will name this policy assign PDF24. And I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects. Then I will right click on the newly created group policy and select edit. And because this policy is for our computers, we need to go to computer configuration, policies, software settings, and software installation. Then I will right click in the middle of the here and go to new and select package. Here you need to make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share because in this case, for example, you can see that this file is located in my desktop and this is a local file. This means that it will allow us to select this file, but when the computer will try to install it, it will not have access to this folder and it will fail the installation. So make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share. So for that, I will click here. I will type my SRV0 to uh, file server name. Then I will go to software folder, software share, PDF24, and I will select the MSI file. Here I will select advanced and click OK. Then I will go to deployment tab, advanced, and I will select ignore language when deploying this package because I want to deploy it for all the computers, no matter what system language is the computers have. And I will click OK and OK. And we are done creating our group policy. So I will close this window. Then I will select the group policy here, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configurations are disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating our group policy, we need to link it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the software. 
In my case, this will be Domain Computers 1 organization unit. So to link this group policy, I will select and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will select OK here. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in this list right here. And that's all that we need to do to create our group policy and to assign it to our computers. And now I will be testing this group policy and for that I will go to one of my client machines that is located in this organization unit and it's the client right here, client 01. And here we need to update our group policy so for that I will go to start menu, type in cmd and I will open cmd without admin privileges. Here I will type gp update and press enter and as you can see the gp update was successful and here it is informing us that it detected a software installation package and for the software to be installed it needs a computer reboot so to restart our computer i will type shut down minus r minus t my zero in the command line and press enter and now let's see what happens as you can see here the computer is informing us that is it is currently installing pdf24 software for us so now let's wait a bit and it seems that it is done installing the software package so now i will sign my user and here we have our desktop icons for pdf24 i will try to launch one of them and it seems to be working just fine and that's it for deploying pdf24 for our computers during startup now let's create another group policy, but this time let's create a group policy for our domain users so that the domain users themselves can install the software whenever they like. And for that I will go back to my server, right click on the group policy object, select new, and this time I will name it publish pdf24, I will click ok, I will right click on the newly created group policy. Select edit and this time because this is a policy for our users we need to go to user configuration, policy, software settings and software installation. I will right click here, select new and select package. Once again make sure that you are selecting a file that is located in a network share. For example if I click here I can see that this file is located on the file server. So I will select this MSI package. Here I will select advance and OK. Then I will go to deployment tab and here for installation user interface options I will select basic because I don't want to allow users to select anything during the installation process and I will click OK. And once again we are done creating our policy so I will close this window. Then I will select the policy here. Go to details and for GPO status I will select computer configuration settings disabled because this time this policy only has user configuration in it and once again I will leave everything else on default and now we need to link it to an organization unit but this time we need to link it to an organization unit that is holding our users and in my case it's domain users organization unit so to link this group policy, I will select and hold the group policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. As you can see, the policy appeared here and also here. And this is the only policy that this organization unit has. Now to test the group policy, I will go to another client machine. It's client 02 that I have here. And here I have this desktop shortcut that allows us to install the software from the network. I will double click on it. And as you can see, the list is currently empty. And to fill in the list, we need to refresh our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu, type in CMD, and I will open it without administrative privileges. Then I will type GP update and press enter. And now let's wait a bit. And the policy is done updating. Now I will go back to my program list. I will right click here and I refresh. And as you can see, we have PDF24 package here. Now I will double click it to start the installation and the installation starts. Now we need to wait for the software to install. As you can see the installation is done so I will click OK and I will select one of the desktop icons. 
and it seems to be working just fine just like before and that's it for this video in the future videos i will show you how to deploy pdf24 using other software deployment tools so like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one